Stock Exchange for us. Ben, you've been speaking to some investors. Yeah, morning to you both. Welcome to the London Stock Exchange. I'm just going to give you a bit of a tour this morning because you'll see this cube that's spinning around behind me. This has all the risers and the fallers on the FTSE 100. So you can see Marks & Spencer, one of the biggest fallers on the day so far, down one and a quarter percent. But it's this board that really does tell the picture of some of the volatility over the course of the week. You can see here the FTSE 100 just tipping into the red marginally. It's been around that level. It initially opened up by about a third of one percent, but just tipping into the red in the last few minutes. Uh, and and this thing you can see here on the board, it's quite a space age representation of the FTSE 100, which remember is our 100 leading companies here in the UK. You'll see each one of them has its uh, tag attached to it, so different companies that are listed on the exchange. If it's red, it's, it's falling. If it's green, it's going up. And the whole problem over the past week is that there's been too many of them falling. So what's falling today? Well, this is the top list of the top 10 fallers on the day. You can see Marks & Spencer there, Admiral Insurance, that's ADM, no, CCL, Carnival, Next the retailers. It's retailers there that are taking a bit of a hit and of course the insurers. But some good news over the course of the week remember because we've seen some of the losses we saw sparked by events in China ricocheting around the world. But the market yesterday in London ended up over 3%, so they're hoping that it might be able to claw back some of those gains over the course of the week ahead. But unsurprisingly, on the leaders' board today, it is energy and mining stocks. Those are the ones that were so badly hit by those worries over the uh, state of the Chinese economy. Remember, falling demand for things like oil, gas, iron ore, minerals like that. That's been one of the biggest fallers. So you can see the miner, Glencore, the biggest riser, up 3.3%. BG, uh, a Royal Dutch Shell there. Both shares listed the A and B, both up by one and three quarters of a one percent. BP's also on the board, Rio Tinto there. So clearly, all the implications of that slowdown have been felt in the markets. But there's a bit of normality, many say, and I've been speaking to investors and analysts here over the course of the morning, saying a bit of normality coming in. And remember, if you're an investor, you're in it for the long term, not necessarily just reacting to these knee-jerk moves we've seen over the last week or so. Great stuff, Ben.